Hello everyone and welcome back in to a brand new Sid Meier's Civilization VI Let's Play as America. We are playing on the Gathering Storm expansion. America is exciting. It's a, it's a Civ that we don't play often, certainly a Civ I don't play often, right? Um, for the map, it is the usual map setup that we go for. Nothing crazy. It is a small map. I'm trying to remember it all. Small Pangea map. Usual amount of civs, usual amount of city-states. Everything else is standard. No score victory, no time victory. Otherwise, everything's pretty standard. In terms of America, um, let's go over what America's good at and talk about it a little bit. Then we'll analyze our start, and then we'll we'll hop into it. Uh, first, this is this is the big one right here. Roosevelt Corollin, Collar, Corollary? Corollary, that's a mouthful. Um, our units get plus five combat strength on their home continent. So I believe that's offensive and defensive. I've only ever played one game of America and that was like pre this expansion though. So I'm not actually sure, but I believe that's offensive and defensive. So it's really, really good um, to fight on your own continent. We also get plus one appeal to all tiles in a city with a national park. Uh, this is where culture starts kind of creeping in. It incentivizes you to build national parks, which is nice, but also that plus one appeal synergizes well with let's say earth goddess if we want some faith. Founding Fathers, all diplomatic policy slots in the current government are converted to wildcard slots. Plus one diplomatic favor per turn for every wildcard slot in your government. So, this is really good um, just to have wildcard slots to be able to be more flexible with your card choices. Also, the diplomatic favor is kind of nice. It synergizes well with, is it the... I can't remember the name of the wonder. There's a wonder that gives you an extra wildcard slot that's actually not that bad anyway. Um, so that synergizes well with that. Uh, the Rife Rider is an American unique industrial area unit, so a bit later in the game. Culture's, culture is earned from kills on their capital's continent, so the continent we're on. Plus 10 combat strength from fighting on hills, lower maintenance cost. So good unit, um, not the best unique unit, but good unit. The only thing that sucks is it comes a bit later in the game. Uh, the Mustang is pretty useless, um, fighter planes are pretty useless, so... That's whatever. And then the film studio, a building unique to America, plus 100% tourism pressure from the city towards civilizations in the modern era. So it takes a while to get there, right? It takes all the other civs to be in the modern era for the film studio to be effective. But hey, it's a culture thing. If, you, if, you're, if you're swinging, um, I usually call it a pivot point if you've watched these Let's Plays. If you're, if you're pivoting your victory to culture later in the game, it's more doable with Teddy. Let's take a look at our start. For this game off the top, um, we kind of want to start by analyzing this a little bit. We only re-rolled once. I'm a firm believer that you have to like make choices and adapt, and then if you just re-roll for the perfect start every time, you're probably not going to learn a lot. So the reason why we stopped here, uh, there's a city with fresh water. There's lots of chops, right? And I like to start Magnus first in a lot of my games. And so Magnus first for these chops is really nice, so that synergizes as well. I can see two different luxury resources and some bananas around. There's enough production and enough food that this city is not going to just suck. And then we'll work from there. The other thing is um, the continent here. I cheated a little bit and I took one turn either way just to make sure the continent didn't split right there. Because part of what makes America fun is fighting on your own continent. And so I, I wanted to make sure that was an option for us. And in terms of victory conditions... In terms of victory conditions, I think we'll probably go for domination or culture. Those are the two that synergize best. But hey, I'm always open to anything. Last game, we didn't pick a victory condition until turn 130. And so we can we can just play and see what happens. So yeah, let's get into it. In terms of where I want to start, I probably want to settle on the wine. Um, settling on the wine gives us that wine to trade right away, which is a good infusion of gold. I think that's probably where I want to start. The only thing that sucks is that means we don't get a 2-2 tile to work right away. Right? But if I settle here, I don't want to work... Yeah, I'm going to settle on the wine. That's fine. Then we'll just explore with the builder. And there's already a wonder. To be honest, I just literally moved one tile down this way. And so I had no idea that wonder was there. Awesome. A wonder and a goodie hat. Love to see it. My keyboard position is just like slightly different, so my buttons are a bit off. Signe, is it Signe? All right. Square mile time because we we are a new pre player friendly stream, and because sometimes I forget too. Let's let's go over and make sure we know what Signe does. One tile and passable natural wonder provides plus one culture and plus one science. So it's just plus one culture, plus one science. That also gives us a boost to astrology, which is really nice for early holy sites. 
Um, what do we need? We need mining early to chop all this stuff out. So we'll go for mining. To be honest, probably astrology next. If that changes, we can change it up, but good plan. Monument, scout, always a scout first. Love a scout. And a free builder. That's not that great, but that's not that terrible. What do I want to do with, do I want to build this farm right away? No, because I don't want them to work a just food tile. So I'll wait until there's more population before I build that farm. That gives me time too. I might want to save that builder if we put a second city over here or there's really a whole bunch of different things that could happen. That would make me not want to use that farm there. What if we district differently? What if we put a city up here near the science and culture and use this for districting? Do I really want to farm there? So we just want to make sure we're, we're doing things correctly. There's a barb encampment up there. Ah, oh, no way. Um, I don't know if that's a party horn or a womp. I'm gonna go with a womp. Early Mongolia is hard. Genghis Khan. Um, so Genghis Khan usually wants to kill you. Which is a problem. We'll explore this way with the scout. I'm gonna come back up and get rid of the barbs. The cool thing about the our bonus is that it applies to barbarians too. So as long as they're on the same continent, which they are, we um we get the combat advantage against them as well. Good God, yeah, it's gotta be a settler. Gotta be a settler. We need mining pretty quick to chop some of this stuff out. I don't want to chop too many things out. Who deserves more credit than the Yeah, I don't want to chop too many things out because we want Magnus to get the most out of them. But at the same time, we, we do need to make sure that we're we're getting these settlers out quickly, especially with Genghis in the game. Damn, alright, more chops over here. This looks good. Another river. This is interesting. I like this. I don't know how much I like it. I think our next city is probably coming up here. Right, just take advantage of the wonder, take advantage of the districting opportunities here. I don't want to go down the river. Oh, okay, if there's coast there. That is best. Um, I'm gonna put the barb experience in air, the bar barb unit combat strength anyway. And then plus one faith in gold so we can get a pantheon. Um, that just means we'll mess with these barbs so badly. Foreign trade. I would rather trade with Genghis Khan and be friends with him early. If I can help it. Surely there's someone in there. I'm actually going to heal this turn because surely there's someone in the encampment. More barbs and another goodie hut. Yeah, there it is. What's unfortunate is that we haven't found... Ooh, never mind. I was going to say what's unfortunate is that we haven't found a city-state. First meet, so we get plus two production in the capital and producing wonders, buildings, and districts. So making that monument has decreased in time. And we had a promotion after this one. I thought we did. We need to, you need to visibly see the entire path to get a trade route out here. So that's why I moved up that one. There it is. That came a little late. I thought that would come earlier, but... That's fine. A physician without a this guy's just bopping all the barbs. And candy. Is that going to give us faith per turn? It is. So we're first meet with candy. That means we're going to get a really good pantheon. We'll probably take earth goddess, but I'm open to the settler pantheon as well. Uh, the culture for plantations one is also pretty good. Um, I'm going to go encampments. Genghis Khan is going to come and try and kill us. That is not really a uh, thing that we need to bank on. That is definitely a thing that happens. We have enough land here to settle a couple cities. I think just coming up here for the science and culture is nice. We have to build an aqueduct though. So we have to put the capital around here. Get that aqueduct in here. 
Interesting. Yeah, it's not really the best city. We could also go for a coastal city. Settle up here. Maybe even settle right here. No, because you want to get the... I just want the districting here is really good. Right, you can put a government plaza and districts in the middle. You can also do it right along here though too. Maybe that's a better third city. Maybe you come down and try and cut him off a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, where do we want to go first? There's no loyalty things that I can see, so maybe just hopping down here is the best option. You can't cross the river, so that's fine. Yeah, I still don't want to build anything. I am going to go actually with a warrior, though. You do need some a little bit more defense with Genghis in the game, I think. Oh, this is a predicament. We can kill that slinger pretty easily, though. Yeah, I don't want to make my cities too close together, but oh my god. Oh, damn. Yeah, you chill, dog, until this warrior's done. This guy's gonna have to heal. Ah, there it is. Found the encampment. Can I buy a slinger? Nope, because I just put a unit in the capital. Damn. That guy, oh yeah, he can come and get me. It's a little fun this side. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't want to go and mess with those guys right now. Yeah, we'll come down this way. I'm worried about Genghis settling this if we don't. I'm also worried that if I settle a city there, Gangus will just pop us, murder us right away. Yep, there it is. God damn, well, there goes that plan. There goes that plan. Suppose we'll just have to take that city from Gangus. That's a bit unfortunate. Yo, this also kind of sucks for... Can I, can I not attack? That seems a bit weird. I can attack with this guy, though. Who's a pantheon? Love Earth Goddess? What is, what is our appeal like? Pretty high appeal, I reckon. Oh yeah, there's lots of good appeal around here. I like Earth Goddess for the faith. I like the extra settler. We'll go Earth Goddess. Where do I want to go? I am clearing the woods. You know what? We won't go Earth Goddess. Now that I think about it more, I don't think we'll actually have that many breathtaking appeal tiles. Although we can't really settle right now anyway because all the barbs are in the way. So it might be worth it. Hmm. What do you guys think? Settler or Earth Goddess? Oh, is Earth Goddess even here? Oh, just kidding. Earth Goddess isn't even an option. Ha! I'm a fool. Settler it is. Easy ass. Well, that made that choice easy. Yeah, we're just gonna need defense, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll just have to move up here and settle a city, and then settle one on the river over here. Those are kind of the next two. Um, yeah, none of this is, is really that ideal. Barbs are killing us right now. 
Oh, damn. Um, yeah, I'll swap out those warriors. This warrior can escort this settler over. No, 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 not you. Oh, man. No, you're going up. God damn. That was silly. You can chop now. Yeah, you know what? Chop this, chop this slinger out. Get uh, the monument for culture would, would, would feel nice. The holy site would also feel nice. And we just need the faith to buy units later if that's how we go. We don't need the faith for a religion. I'll go for that monument pretty quick. Archery boost is always nice. I want that promotion here, it's coming soon. Oh my goodness, two double slingers? Yeah, I can probably build a farm on this one. That's fine. I don't want to move any farther out. I'm also injured. Yeah, these slingers are uh, making things hard. All right. Yeah, we're gonna go settle over here with this settler now. I'm gonna go for walls and then archery. I think we're gonna get attacked by Genghis soon. We also need our scout to head down here. You know what though, I could buy a trader one turn and send it like literally from here to here just to see what's up. Not a bad plan. Um, yeah, heal a turn before you move. Every nation lives by exchange. That slinger seems to have wanted to leave us alone, which is nice of them. Now we have to pick over here where we want to settle. We can settle here, yeah. There's going to be iron right here too. That iron spawn is real nice. I think you settle on this tile here and then you just make the aqueduct. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Just make the aqueduct. Early empire is always better, I think. Early empire, then state workforce, then political philosophy is Probably the best way to go. Here, we definitely want to settle on the river for the fresh water. There is some iron down here. You know, we could do a coastal city down here. Having at least one coastal city might be nice. I don't know if this is like a little lake or something, but at least getting one good harbor in. We're gonna have iron from up here though. I mean, two sources of iron is really good. I don't mind the coastal settle, but it does leave us with a lot of not great tiles. But I mean, we also don't have a lot of good options, right? Like this leaves us with a lot of not great tiles too. The double silk is nice up there though. I think that coastal city, oh good God, stop that. Ah, uh, so there's an encampment right here. That's a problem. The slinger can come back, because we're just going right here. Alright, we got New York. Now, this builder can head up to New York and get that iron. Right away. Probably a good holy site right here. And, and right here, too. Grab a warrior. Start. We'll need the units. I'm gonna buy a trader. You know what though? No, I won't because the, there's just too many barbs here. That's just gonna be a whole lot of problems. Uh, 
Oh my god, leave me alone. These guys are so aggressive. We definitely want an encampment. And we probably want it right here. I mean, this one would be even better. I think we... To be honest, we might want to buy this tile and then put an encampment on the rainforest. Can we do that yet, though? Yeah, we can. We can't clear the rainforest yet, but we can throw an encampment down right there. That'll give us an easy way to defend. Stop it! <laughs> These parps are so frustrating. It's all part of the game, though. They're great. You know what, though? If you survive the barbs and you get all the promotions, it's actually... It's not a completely lost cause. Try and send the settler over with the slinger. Slinger's doing fine. Just heal. Heal right there before someone attacks you. I'm not really close to archery. That would be an obviously easy upgrade. Okay, you take the promo and then you bat this guy. Wait. What's interesting is Genghis Khan is not being helpful with the bard problems. You'd think he would be. God, okay. Oh yeah, no, no, you stay linked. So we're getting in that iron now, which is great. That's also a good tile, though, to work for this city. Culture, science, a little bit of everything. It's Holy God. Oh, boy. This is a problem. I don't like that very much. I think you probably go state workforce into political philosophy. Government plaza is good, and new government is good. Um, I, I kind of like Victor earlier, I kind of like Pingala earlier, but Magnus is my, my one true love. Early Magnus for chopping this stuff out is really nice. Yeah, that's fine. I just want to make sure that this works. I just didn't want this unit to die if it went too early. This is not great, but we're gonna settle right over here. That's fine. Um, now we can grab a trader from here to Kokwata. Co Co I build the barracks and I'll buy the trader. This is a this is a not great situation up here. Each of us is carving. They just keep spawning too, like they're. They're not giving up. Uh, just straight down to Kokwota, I think. That just gives us a nice road straight through our encampment, too. Yeah, this, this city needs some reinforcements. This slinger can make its way up. It's gonna be a nice two promo unit though. If there are no without craftsmen. Alright. Oh god damn. Really? Well, we learned a lesson. Unescorted settler. Bad idea. We're gonna have to take that back. Well this is frustrating. Where is my settler? There he is. We're gonna get him back. Oh yeah, still has. Cool, well that wasn't as bad as I thought. That could have been way worse. What do we wanna build up here? Not an encampment. Not really a settler either. Probably a monument. 
just want this guy to heal. This scout actually needs to come down and scout this area out more. Yeah, see, we're gonna get killed by these guys real quick. Really? You're gonna settle another city right there? Yeah, we're gonna get killed really quickly. We're gonna go straight for iron working and try and get some swords out. And we're gonna build walls here. Yeah, if we can upgrade to swords earlier than Genghis Khan, that would be very, very helpful. Otherwise, I have low faith in our ability to survive this attack. Uh, we're gonna need archery too. I don't want to scout down any more than that. Our scout's just gonna get killed when he declares war. All right, well, we got Baltimore. Walls, man. Get those walls. We also need granaries pretty quickly too. A strong economy. Yeah, he's coming. He's coming. Uh, we're gonna go for provision here. Settlers train in the city do not consume a population. Um, that one's really nice. We're so close. Gotta heal like two more turns maybe. Sweet. Well, we're going to upgrade that guy to an archer. Absolutely. I didn't realize we actually got archer already, so that worked out really well. Yeah, here he comes. Did he already kill my archer? Nope. Awesome. So we have this boost. I really want to get my archer into my encampment, but that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. Can I buy an archer? 240. Not really. I can't sell my wine to anyone. I don't want to send, there's just too many barbs for this to make sense. We'll just go to Baltimore. Oh, uh, he'll, he'll pillage that. We'll have to go to New York. Swords are in three turns. I don't know if we'll be able to upgrade any, but at least we'll be able to get one. Yeah, we're getting a huge combat boost too. Um, he'll definitely survive that. That's fine. Oh boy, this is, uh, not great, Bob. Oh, there we go. Now we got some walls in action. Look at that. Try to get the experience on the archer. Yeah, I think, I think we beat him by uh, just a few turns. I think we're just ahead enough. To, to not die here. Whew, that was stressful. I hope we're able to upgrade a swordsman. I'll worry about the districting here after. Another archer would be nice. Is it just us two on this continent? Everything has its limits. It looks like it. Oh, 110 gold. Look at that. This is a beautiful thing, a swordsman. Still got 135 military strength, so he's not messing around. You gotta get all this stuff, too. Right, like, this is all important stuff you need in the early game. We're gonna need granaries and irrigation and campuses and commercial hubs soon, so... Really, maybe not the best time to get it, but I think we can hold on with Swordsman here. Yeah, he's backing off already. That's, that's nice. Error score from clearing the camp. Yeah, we'll heal you up. We're, we're gonna go and take some cities here, I think. I think that's the, the only logical thing to do here. Ooh, that scout went for it. No man ever wetted. All right, we got a normal age. I'm just gonna go for free inquiry here. We're gonna get some Eurekas and they'll give us arrow score, and that's nice. All right, like you don't have to overthink that one. Most of the time, free inquiry is a really good, a good way to go. A drought happening over here. That's fine. 
Yeah, the barbs are making this a little tough. Oh, there's another encampment there, too. I'm gonna try and get this archer down into this encampment. I suppose that archer is gonna be in the encampment. Uh, I'd rather the archer with the bonus be in the encampment. I do want the government plaza. Put it right here. Commercial hub. They'd probably put it right there. You at least get a campus. Yeah, you wanna put your government plaza right here. Let's right, so put the government plaza here, and then you go... Commercial hub? On the river. Commercial hub on the river. Nope, that's not the attack I wanted. Campus. This can be holy sites as well. And then you put a third district here and a third district here. Whether that's a feeder square. That seems decent enough for now. You can try that. All right, that's just a base plan without really thinking about it too much. Awesome, so he's still got 145 unit strength. He's got a lot of, of military units. I'm a bit worried he'll go for walls, but he did declare war on me. I didn't declare war on him, so maybe not. Yeah, we're running out of gold to run military. Plus three per turn is, is not ideal. I reckon though with two swordsmen, you can probably... I reckon you can come down and start to take these cities, especially like choir. I think that's a takeable city. Grit enough to bring the tornado is oh my god annoying. That was a really good encampment build in hindsight. That worked out really well for us. I think we'll come down and take. Uh, oh, you gotta probably take co quota first for loyalty purposes. We're definitely taking um, Oligarchy here. Unit experience, combat strength. That's exactly what we need right now. So our first Diplo slot is always a wild card slot. Unit maintenance is going in here for sure. I... I also think probably just keep the Diplo card. All right, city-state influence is really nice. Yeah, there's really nowhere else to explore. Let's try and get around on that side of, of Mexico City. We'll head into military training and then circle back for the theater squares. Yeah, we should fully heal, heal the swordsman. Make peace? Nah, dude. You started this thing. Yo, that's not ideal. Alright, so he's got the horses running around. That's fine. Writing is easy. Alright, so a few things happened there that kind of suck. We got this friggin' barb camp, which I wish would just go away. Like another one spawned right there. So well, that's annoying. Oh my god, that didn't kill it? That was so much damage. Oh yeah, he's just retreating though.
What is that soundtrack? Crazy. That's a cool, uh, like, sound effect, though. Yeah, we have a nice road down here, too. So we're running at plus five. Um, granary feels pretty good. Then we'll see about a builder. Maybe another settler. Getting a settler to head out here, maybe. We're not making peace, guy. Like, you just Genghis. My oh, man. You did this. I didn't declare war on you. If we're getting the, uh, the events straight. Oh, that didn't kill it. You guys are strong ass. Once you get the third promo for Zone of Control, it's it's pretty GG. Can I move in? Yep. So that was dumb. That was silly of him. We'll kill this scout. Oh, they got the horsies. Yeah, these archers really gotta stay in the back, hey? They're getting bopped really hard. Major victory, yeah, take that, dude. The early swords are super helpful here. I don't know if we'll take that city, but maybe. Oh uh, no, we'll have to kill. We gotta kill with this one. This one can go back and heal. That's gonna work. If we take the city, we'll end the video after that, but we'll see how things are going. Got a granary here. Let's get a builder. I think a builder's great. Um, we got stuff to build, so that's fine. We definitely want... Um, I don't know if we need to upgrade this quite yet, although Warlord's Throne is really nice. I think we just go for the granary. We're having some food troubles. I think we'll go Pingala next. I think Pingala makes a lot of sense. The Baltimore, maybe. Grab some science. A little bit of science and culture won't hurt us. Ooh, spawned another archer. Damn. Yeah, that's not really what I was hoping for. I think we might be good anyway, though. I think we might be good to take the city next turn, regardless. We don't have a shrine, so that doesn't really make sense. The Suze is nice, anyway. I don't think he'll go for candy, though, so I think we're fine to go for Mexico City. Yeah, that's definitely not what I wanted. Yeah, I think we got it. People who cannot find... Awesome! Well, that's the perfect place to end this first video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're hanging out on Twitch, stick around. We are going to keep playing. If you're on YouTube, thank you so much for watching the video. If you loved it, leave a like rating, please, so other people can discover it and enjoy it as well. Also, hit that subscribe button so you never miss a video. Um, yeah, otherwise, we have Twitch, Twitter, and Discord links in the description below if that suits your fancy. Otherwise, thank you so much. We'll see you in the next one.